For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Freedom Day is a public holiday celebrated on 27 April in South Africa. It commemorates the first post-apartheid elections held on this day in 1994. For the last few years, Abahlali Basim Jondolo, the Shack Dwellers Movement, have been organizing an annual event they call Unfreedom Day on the day. Abahlali, which celebrated its 15 years last year, is the only movement formed in the post-apartheid era organizing for land, housing and dignified living to have survived and sustained itself for so many years. Leaders come to our communities and see us as banks of votes. Our children do not have access to free education. The state is pushing an agenda to oppress us. We cannot fool ourselves and say we are free, while the freedom of this country has been stolen by individuals says Mkapeli Bonono, Deputy President of Abahlali. Abahlali organizes all those living in South Africa's many shack settlements, regardless of race, gender, religion, ethnicity, and nationality. They have had to face severe repression from the government, and their shacks and occupations are periodically destroyed by security forces. On 18 April, a fire tore through Abahlali's Marikana occupation in Cato Crest, KwaZulu-Natal. Burning everything in its path, it rendered 49 families homeless and took the life of a 38-year-old woman. The Marikana land occupation was initially organized as a branch of Abahlali in 2013, named in solidarity with the Marikana mine workers' strike in 2012, where 34 mine workers were massacred by the state police. Later, a section of the occupation was named after a resident of the occupation, Mobile Nzuza, a 17-year-old woman gunned down by the police during an anti-eviction protest. Before the branch started, there was a housing project which excluded many people and continued to render them homeless. In a largely Isizulu-speaking province, those from the Eastern Cape who spoke Isikosa were denied housing and evicted by landlords on the basis of ethnicity. These were the people who decided to find a piece of land to occupy. In a country that makes it a constitutional right for people to access electricity, water, sanitation, communities like the people of Mobile and Zuza continue to be sidelined by the state. A week passed since the fire and no representative of the Department of Disaster Management has come to the site. With overcrowding, poor infrastructure and limited resources, the living conditions are a daily challenge and evident from the recent fire are even life-threatening. Those like Mobile and Zuza, who stand up for a better life, face equally dangerous situations. Explaining the prevailing realities, Bonono stated that We have a corrupt government with leaders that are looters from their own poor people. When we stand up, start questioning and talking about how we are oppressed by the state, together with the ruling party, we become the enemy and the threat. They look for us and want to assassinate us.